Hi and welcome to the Dice Cup. I'm Steve and today I'm going to show you how to play a 2 to 3 player abstract strategy game called Hexagony. In Hexagony you're going to be dealing out these tri-coloured hexagons. We've got red, white and blue on them and you're going to deal them out equally among all the players. There are 48 in the game so in a 3 player game they're going to get 16 each. In a 2 player game you're going to get 24 each. You're also going to give each player a solid hexagon of their colour only and that will signify the player colour you'll be using throughout the game. So let's say I'm the red player and these are the ones I've been dealt. I will take these and turn them all face up and you'll note that there are two different types of hexagon you could get based on the rotation. Uh, for example, this one here goes white, blue and red and this one here goes white, blue and red and this one here goes white, red and blue. So you've got the two different types and what they recommend you do in the rules is you pile them up into piles so you know how many of each type you've got. So I've put them into two piles here. I've got six of this type which goes white, red and blue and I've got ten of this type which goes white, blue and red. Each of the other players will have different distributions of those two tiles. I've also got my red tile uh, which I can play during the game. It doesn't just signify my player colour but I've also got that as well. So I've got 17 tiles in total. In hexagony, you're going to take it in turns to play one of your hexagons into the playing space in the middle. So let's say the white player goes first and they play one of their hexagons like that. On your turn as the red player, you have to play one of your hexagons so that you're matching a red piece on one of your hexagons with a red piece on the board. So that means I could take one of these and I could place that like that, like that, like that, like that, but I couldn't place white to white and I couldn't place red to white. It has to be red to red and it has to be legal so that if you are bordering another piece that's already there, you're matching up with the colours. So on blue's turn, blue might do uh, this. On white's turn, white might uh, do uh, this. So it's back to my turn and I've got three different places I can go. I can go up here as red, I can go here as red, or I can go here as red. Well, the aim of the game is you're trying to complete as many full hexagons of your colour as you can do. Every hexagon you get on the board that's full gets you a point, and at the end of the game the person with the most points is the winner. So one good thing I might want to do with this is I might want to fill this hexagon up here, but again, remember I have two choices of pieces I can play. I can put that one there, or that one there, or if I wanted to I could put my full red piece there, it's probably not a good idea for this particular example. So let's say I put that one down and it will pass on to blue and pass on to white and so on and so on and so on. You'd score at the end of the game one point for every completed hexagon, you would also get a bonus point if you managed to get your full coloured piece in completely encompassed in red. I'll just show you what that looks like, that's basically So say in the end of the game you manage to do this, you have one hexagon here, one hexagon here, one hexagon here, and the fact that you've got your middle hexagon in there too, your complete coloured hexagon, this particular pattern will be worth four points. One for each of the hexagons and a bonus point for getting your solid disc in the middle of the board. You play that well to the end of the game and then you count to be hexagons. I'm just going to quickly go through and add some more to the board so you can see what it looks like when it finishes and then we'll have a look at the final score um, and just how easy it is to score at the end. And so there you have it, that's what a completed board in the game of Hexagony looks like. Towards the end of the game you'll find out that you can't place where you want to place because you've run out of a particular type of piece. Uh, you might want to try and get rid of your larger stack first just so that at the end of the game you still have options. And you'll also find that trying to block other people can't, isn't as easy as you might think because you can only place your colour to another colour. So if you're trying to block them but can't quite get a piece in the way, for example up here blue can't place anywhere around here so you can do no blocking to red and white here because blue can't actually on his turn place anything here. He'd have to place blue next to blue so he could go here or he could go here. At the end of the game if this was a particular game I wasn't uh, thinking that hard about it. This was a game you would score at the end you would count up each player's pieces. For example red has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine for the bonus. White has one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. He didn't get his bonus. And blue has one, two, three, four, five, six, and he didn't get his bonus because that one doesn't count as a hexagon. And so that's the game of hexagony. Red in this particular case would win with a score of 9 to 7 to 6, and the difference between a two player and a three player game is minimal. In a two player game, you take out one of the solid discs, so you might remove blue, and you play with red and white, and you do exactly the same sort of thing. On red's turn, they can only place next to red, on white's turn, they can only place next to white, so no one's really placing next to blue, and you play again until all the counters are out, and a C is won. If there is a tie, for example here, if red and white had tied, uh, if anyone manages to get their full uh, bonus piece point, they, they become the winner, otherwise it's a tie and you just have to have another game of it. If this seems like a game you'd like to try out, come on down to the Dice Club. We have this and nearly 300 games in our games library. You're welcome to play, and if you can't quite remember the rules, one of our games experts will be here to help you. I've been Steve from the Dice Club in Nottingham. Thank you very much.